Sankey Diagram Sound Odd Once You Understand Them, they're really nice and easy. So Sankey Diagrams just tell us where the energy in ends up. If it goes in this way, it is the useful energy. And if it goes down here, it is the wasted energy. Sometimes you want to be given a sank diagram on a grid and asked to work out the efficiency. Now you may be given numbers or you may be expected to count the numbers for yourself. This just involves counting the number of squares. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now the energy in always has to equal the energy out, so if I've got 8 over here, I must have 2 down here, and it's 1, 2, I do. And you'll notice I counted the width of the arrow, not the number of squares in the arrow, just the width of the arrow. Now to work out the efficiency, all I need to do is 8 over 10 which is going to equal 0.8. Now in efficiency, we don't need to worry too much about the units because the equation is exactly the same whether we have our units in um, joules, whether you have our units in watts. For more information about this, you can go and check out the video I've just done on efficiency calculations. Here we have another example for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 in. And again, doesn't really matter about the units here. And one, two, three, four, five, six out. So if I've got eight in and six out down here, I must have one, two as my wasted energy. So my efficiency is going to be six over eight, which will be 0.75 is the efficiency. Here is a slightly different type of Sankey diagram. You can see we have useful energy and then we have two different types of wasted energy. Remember, it may look a bit odd this way around because you think an appliance is going to give out lots of useful energy, but sometimes the actual energy we want, we have to take at the cost of lots of wasted energy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six use, uh, energy in and one, two, as the useful energy out. So the equation we are going to need to do is 2 divided by 6, which will give us 0.3 as the efficiency. I know your calculator will say 0.3 recurring, but we do not do recurring physics. I really hope you found this video helpful. You can join my online classroom at Patreon where you will get weekly assessments so you can keep improving and at the same time support me. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. To keep up to date you can follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook. And for extra resources, blogs and all of the videos in order you can visit my website primrosekitten.com. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. Any comments, questions or corrections down below please.